Let's learn more about the common birds at your bird feeder. This video counts down the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. For each species, we discuss range, habitat, behavior, identification, and the foods they eat at your bird feeder. Let's get right to it. White-breasted nuthatch. White-breasted nuthatches are the largest of four nuthatch species in North America. These birds are year-round residents across southern Canada and all but deserts and treeless areas of the United States, south into the mountains of Mexico. They are found primarily in mature deciduous woods, but also dry pine forests in the interior west. As with all nuthatches, these active little birds crawl over the trunk and limbs looking for bark insects. Their strong feet allow them to hang on to bark in any position. You'll frequently see them crawling headfirst down the tree or upside down around a branch. These birds are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They are chunky birds with big heads on short necks. They have stumpy little tails. Their legs are strong and feet large. Their bill is fairly slender and sharp pointed. They are blue-gray on the upper parts with black crown and hind neck. The under parts, including the face, are white with rusty feathers in the vent area. Males are more blue on the upper parts and have blacker caps. Females are more gray and have paler caps. At your feeder, white-breasted nuthatches love suet and peanuts. They may take seeds from the feeder to cache away in the bark of trees to eat later in the winter. House Sparrow House sparrows were first introduced into the United States in 1851 and quickly became common coast to coast. These birds are year-round residents from Canada south through Mexico. They were originally birds of Europe and Asia, but have colonized basically every human-occupied city in the world. Towns and cities are the primary habitats of these birds. Wherever there are permanent human settlements, these birds are there. They choose to nest in houses, buildings, and other human-made structures, but also in nest boxes provided for other birds. They also thrive in farms and ranches, especially stables and grain storehouses. These are social birds, often found in large flocks. They tend to squabble and have a complex hierarchy. Males are dominant in fall and winter, but females dominate in spring and summer. They also tend to be aggressive toward other birds at the feeder. These sparrows are not related to New World sparrows, thus they are differently shaped. They have a short body, full breast, large head, and short tail. The bill is triangular, short and pointed, but thick at the base. The bill of female and fall males is dull yellowish, the bill of spring males is black. In fresh fall plumage, males are dingy brown above, with dark stripes on the back, dusty brown on wing and tail, with a gray rump. They have one large white upper wing bar. They have a bit of black on the chin. As their pale feather tips wear off during winter and spring, the black bib on the male reveals itself. The crown becomes grayer, the face whiter, and chestnut patches on the nape and shoulder become more obvious. Females remain in dull plumage all year. The underparts are dingy gray. Upper parts dull brown with dark lines on the back. They also show a small white upper wing bar. The face shows a brown crown and stripe behind the eye, offset by a wide, buffy eyebrow. At the feeder, house sparrows eat a wide variety of seeds, but they like cracked corn and red milo that many native sparrows and finches do not like. They also have rather weak feet. So, to reduce the number of house sparrows at your feeder, switch to black oil sunflower seeds in a tube feeder. American Goldfinch American goldfinches are favorite backyard birds across North America. Many people call them wild canaries. These active birds are year-round residents coast to coast across northern and mid-latitudes of the United States. In summer, birds move into southern Canada. In winter, birds are found throughout the United States. They are found in weedy pastures and brushy clearings. In town, they favor parks and residential areas with lawns and scattered trees. They often feed on thistles or dandelion seeds on the ground, but they also fly over open spaces between trees with a bounding roller coaster flight and a lilting potato chip call. These are small birds, smaller than house finches. 
They are rather plump birds with small round heads and short tails. The bill is small, but it is conical for eating seeds. It is colored pink. Summer males are striking with their brilliant yellow and black plumage. The body is yellow and they have a black crown. The wings and tail feathers are black and white. Females are duller olive green without the black crown. They have thin white wing bars. Juvenile birds in fall show striking tan wing bars on the black wing. In winter, both genders are pale gray and tan with brown wings and tail. They may only show a hint of yellow on the head and throat. At your feeder, American goldfinches love black oil sunflower seeds and niger seeds. They are especially common at feeders in summer and fall. Downy Woodpecker Downy woodpeckers are tiny and common visitors to backyards across the United States. These woodpeckers inhabit nearly all of North America south of the tundra and away from the driest deserts. They like small deciduous trees, willows, and brush. They're common in backyards. Like other woodpeckers, these birds hitch up small trees. However, they often cling to the small outer branches. They even hang on twigs and small bushes such as wild rose and teasel. They are bigger than house finches, smaller than red-winged blackbirds, but shaped differently than either. These birds have stocky bodies and big heads. They have short, stiff, pointed tails. The legs are short. The feet are large with strong claws. The bills of these woodpeckers are chisel-shaped, but especially short and petite. The overall pattern of these birds is black and white stripes. The wings are black with numerous white spots and bars. The back is white. The underparts are white or tinged with buff. The face is white, the crown and nape is black, the ear covert black, and there's a black malar stripe. The tail is black with white outer tail feathers. Males have a red spot on the nape that females lack. Downy woodpeckers eat suet at your feeder. Tufted titmouse. Tufted titmice are one of the favorite feeder birds in the east. They are year-round residents from the northeast to the Midwest and south to Florida and eastern Texas. These birds like deciduous and mixed woods. They are found in parks, orchards, and residential areas with large trees. They are acrobatic as they move through the tree canopy, but you will often hear them first as they have a wide variety of both husky calls and clear whistled notes. These birds are nearly the size of house sparrows they are larger than chickadees. They have stout bodies and a large head on short neck. The tails are medium in length. The crest is wispy and not always as obvious as one might think. The bill is short and stout. They are gray above and pale below, often with a pale peach color on the flanks. There are black feathers around the eye which make the eye look big and stand out on the pale face. There's also a touch of black on the forehead above the bill. Genders are similar in appearance. Tufted titmice eat black oil sunflower seeds, peanuts, and suet at your feeder. Song Sparrow Song sparrows are widespread across North America. These birds summer from southern Alaska and across Canada to the Ohio River Valley and in the west to southern California and Arizona. In winter, most birds leave Canada and the northern Great Plains, except for a population in western Canada. The winter birds push south to Florida and Texas into northern Mexico. These birds are found in a wide variety of brushy habitats. They are found in open woodlands, marshes, and backyards landscaped with large bushes and brambles. They spend a lot of time hopping on the ground looking for food. They eat insects and invertebrates in summer, but mostly seeds in winter. They are a bit smaller than house sparrows. They have a round body, round head, and longer tail with a rounded tip. The bill is triangular, short and thick at the base. Across their range, these birds show much variation. Desert birds are paler. Northwestern birds are dark and reddish. Alaskan birds are much larger. In general, they are gray, streaked with brown, with breast streaks forming a center spot on the breast. The pattern of the head is complex, but rather diagnostic. The white throat is bordered by a flaring lateral throat stripe. Genders are identical. Song sparrows will visit platform feeders, but more likely stay under dense bushes, venturing out on the ground below the feeders. 
black-capped chickadee. The cute black-capped chickadees must be one of the favorite birds at feeders across much of North America. They are year-round residents in Alaska and across Canada south across the northern half of the United States. These birds are found in deciduous and mixed woods, orchards, and backyards. They feed in small flocks acrobatically on the end of twigs searching for invertebrates and small seeds. In winter, they make up the core of roaming mixed feeding flocks. These flocks include chickadees, kinglets, nuthatches, and often include brown creepers, downy woodpeckers, illarumped warblers, and wrens. These are small birds, smaller than house finches. They are about the same length as American goldfinches. The bodies of chickadees are round and plump. They have big heads and long tails that flit about. They have long legs and big feet. The bills are short and stout. This allows them to eat both seeds and invertebrate foods. These birds are gray above and buffy below. They have striking black caps and bibs, offset by their white face. You may also notice the white secondary wing edges of the folded wing. Genders are identical in appearance. At your feeder, black-capped chickadees love black oil sunflower seeds. They take these one at a time to a nearby branch. They hold the seed with their feet and pound the shell open with their bill to get the kernel inside. In fall, they often take the whole seed away and store it for the winter in what's called a cache. Morning Dove The mournful summer song of morning doves is familiar to most, even if they don't know what bird makes the sound. They are found across the United States as year-round residents. Birds summer in the northern Great Plains and south-central Canada, but withdraw in the winter. These birds are found in towns and farms, an open country with scattered trees, often along rivers. In spring, they sing from power lines in residential areas. They may puff out their chests while cooing from the peak of your roof. These birds are much larger than European starlings, but also much smaller than American crows. These birds have large, powerful breasts, a tiny round head on thin neck, and long pointed tail. Their wings are somewhat pointed in flight. The bill is small, as typical for all pigeons. Genders are identical. These birds are warm tan or brown colored. The breast has a pinkish hue. The wings are gray. They have a few large black spots on the wing cover. They have a black spot on the side of the neck below the cheek that sometimes shows some iridescent green. The tail has white edges, best seen in flight. At your bird feeder, morning doves eat all types of seeds. They are also attracted to water for drinking and bathing. Northern Cardinal Northern Cardinals are one of the most popular birds in the United States. Even people who haven't seen one in life have seen their image on logos and advertisements. These birds are year-round residents from the northeastern United States south to Florida, west to the Midwest, and southern Great Plains to Arizona. They are found in woodlands, hedgerows, and dense backyard shrubs. Both males and females sing a series of repeated whistles. These birds are less bulky than European starlings, but just as long. They have a very long tail and big head with tall crest. The bill is very thick at the base, short with curved edges. It is usually obviously orange. Males are bright red throughout, with hints of blue on the wings, tail, and back. They have a black throat patch that reaches to the eye and over the bill. Females are dull brown or buffy yellow in coloration, with red highlights on the edges of the wings and tail. Their crest isn't quite as pronounced as the males. They still show the black around the bill. Northern cardinals eat larger seeds at your feeder, including black oil sunflower seeds and safflower seeds. Blue Jay Blue Jays are one of the most well-known birds in the United States. Birds are found year-round east of the Rocky Mountains from southern Canada to Texas and eastward. There is a noticeable migration of some of their population in most of their range. Birds move northward into the Great Plains of Canada for the summer. Though they are found in woodlands of all types, they are especially attracted to oak trees. They are common in residential areas, too. Brash and conspicuous, blue jays have a complex social structure. The more the crest is raised, the more excited or agitated the bird is. Jays are fairly large backyard birds, 
they are just a bit larger than American robins. These are stout birds with large rounded or wedge-shaped tails. They have large legs and feet and have a bushy crest. The bill is fairly long and strong. Genders are similar in plumage. They are blue above, including the crest. They are gray below with a black necklace across the throat. The wings are barred with black, with white wing bars and trailing edges. The blue tail is barred with black and has white tail corners. At your feeder, blue jays love whole peanuts and sunflower seeds. There you have it, the 10 most common feeder birds in the state. My channel page has playlists covering bird watching, bird identification, and interesting nature facts. Details are in the description below. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and enjoy your feeder birds.